Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to um, show you how to create a link in a SharePoint document library using Power Automate. Um, somebody asked me how to do this yesterday and I didn't know how to do it so I quickly figured it out um, and in fact I'd never even used this functionality before so I'll show you what I mean first. When you're in a document library you've got this new option and then you can click link and I'll put in a link to Google and click create and there's the link. So it's very simple the requirement and the flow to create it is also very simple. I'll show you the flow now. So we have shortcut content and we have internet shortcut in uh, enclosed within square brackets and then we have URL equals and then the URL that we want. Now we just go into create file action, specify the site and the folder path, and specify the file name, which must end in .url. And then for the file content, we just base64 encode the outputs of shortcut content, which is here, and that will do it. So let's just try it now. We refresh this. There's the link to my blog, and there's the blog. So it's dead simple. Now I thought it would actually be interesting because I didn't know how to do this, just to show you how I found out. So I'm going to edit this flow because it's such a short video that we might as well quickly, I'll show you how I figured it out. So all I'm going to do is a get file content action There. Okay, so if I run this now, you will see that I get the contents of the file and it is just this base64 encoded string. So if I now go to here and type in this text and ask it to decode it. There is the plain text contents of what was in that file. So you can see it's dead simple. I've never needed to do it before and I don't imagine it is a common requirement. But if you need to do it, that is how it can be done. See you in the next video. Bye bye.